Welcome back to Wittenberg Academy's elementary Latin course. We are ready for chapter 7 in Minimus, which starts on page 40. The Military Machine. Be careful, Rufus. Julius and Rufus have been out to watch the soldiers practicing with their weapons. Julius wants to join the Roman army as soon as he is 18. The government thug. He and Rufus return to the house where Julius asks Flavius about his weapons. Quid est. Quid est. What does that mean? What is it? What is it? Gallia est. Gallia est. Aha, we need some new vocabulary. Look at the top of page 41. Let's learn our vocabulary. Quid est. Quid est. So what is it? Gallia. Gallia. A helmet. Gladius. Gladius. A sword. Pelum. Pelum. There's a short little javelin. Scutum. Scutum. There's a shield. Cowboy. Cowboy. Be careful. Lori, excuse me, yeah, Lorica. Lorica. Or, no, excuse me, Lorica. 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 Again, that second last syllable is long, so it gets the accent. Lorica. Lorica. Siste. Siste. Stop. Pugio. Pugio. A dagger. Relinqua. Relinqua. Leave it alone. Pericolosis. Pericolosis. Dangerous. Ecce. Okay. Is look. All right. Back to section. Back to our first square. Gallia est. Gallia est. Means. It's a helmet. It's a helmet. Rufa noli tangere. Rufa noli tangere. What does that mean? Rufa, don't touch it. Don't touch. Right. Tangere is again an infinitive. Means to touch. Do not wish to touch. Don't touch. Uh, two. Quid est. Quid est. Gladius est. Gladius est. Rufa noli tangera. <laughs> Rufa noli tangera. Quest. Quest. Pilum est. Pilum est. Which means it's a, a pilum. Yeah. Rufa noli tangera. Rufa noli tangera. Quest. Quest. Scutum est. Scutum est. Rufa kawe. Rufa kawe. Which means. Rufa, be careful. Scutum maximum est. Scutum maximum est. Which means? The shield is really big. The shield is really big, right. Quid est. Quid est. Lorica est. Lorica est. Which means? Uh, breastplate. Mm -hmm. Rufa siste. Rufa siste. Which means? Rufa stop. Lorica maxima est. Lorica maxima est. Yeah, all right. Quid est. Quid est. Pugio est. Pugio est. Rufa relinqua. Rufa relinqua. Periculosus est. Periculosus est. Ecce. Ecce. Flavius and Julius go back in outside to watch the soldiers training. Nunc Rufus Lightus est. Now Rufus is happy. Well, repeated in Latin. Nunc Rufus Lightus est. And now Rufus is happy. Candidus has made Rufus a wooden sword so he can practice invading countries and stealing things from people like Candidus. Seems a little ironic. All right, page 41, grasp the grammar. We are going to look at a different sort of verb. Remember that verbs are action words. In this picture story, Flavius tells Rufus to do things. He also tells him not to do things. For instance, he says, Kawe, which means be careful, and Siste, stop and relinque, leave it. Verbs like this are called commands or orders. They're called imperatives, imperatives. Um, we've already met some verbs like this, blah, blah, blah. Waney, middle of the page, waney, right? That means come on. Sergey, Sergey. means stand up. Ready, ready. Ready, the whole family shouted this at Rufus when he knocked over the peacock. What does that mean? Put it back. Ready. If you want to give a command to more than one person in Latin, you add the te to the end of the command. This is called the plural form. Right? One person singular, more than one person plural. Simo dicit. Simon says. This game will help you remember the command words, the imperatives. Your teacher will give you some orders. If she, I'm not a she, says simo dicit, followed by an order, you must do as I tell you. If I don't say simo decit, first do nothing. Listen carefully because I will try to catch you. 
Well, we're not going to do that with this video because that would be kind of odd. I wouldn't be able to see whether you were doing it or not. But you can play with your friends and neighbors. You would simply use this so you would say, Simo Dikit Sergey, stand up. But if I just said Sergey, right, you would not stand up. Simo Dikit. Enjoy that game to your heart's content. That does it for the first part of Lesson 7. Um, get your new vocabulary down and study it, and then you'll be ready for the second part of this chapter.